The ultimate ball, also called the ultimate shape, is a fascinating double thickness hollow sphere that you can make with Zen magnets. It's a pretty shape, but it can be frustrating to build. This is a tutorial video showing a simple way to make it using 1,860 Zen magnets. To learn how to make larger double thickness hollow spheres, including this 4,500 magnet ball, see my snub ball tutorial. To build the ultimate ball, you'll need 10 stacks of 30 hexagon rings and one stack of 12 pentagon rings. To ensure proper polarity, wind all of the hexagon rings and the pentagon rings in the same direction from the same end of the same magnet chain and maintain their orientation on the table. Then, turn the pentagon ring stack around because they require the opposite polarity. Cut double rings from the right side of the hexagon stacks and single rings from the right side of the pentagon stack. Then you're going to build a pentagon of pentagon, pentagon of hexagons, I guess as it were. Just like that. Then for the next layer, we're not going to start on the top, but we're going to start on the side, which makes life easier. like that. Again, we won't start on the top, but we'll start on the next one over. Then for the next layer, so now we have a, essentially a pentagon with edge length 4. For the next layer, we're not going to add hexagons all the way across. We're going to again start not on the top, but the ne one next to the top, and just add three hexagons to that side, three to this side, just like that. The next step is to build another just like this. Here are the bottom and the top of the ultimate ball. And now we're going to make the sides out of three rows of 20 pieces. Next, we're going to place the top <coughs> on the sides. And fill in, <coughs> I'm going to fill in these uh, 
vertices with pentagons. Actually, I'm going to leave these two till later. And the reason is I want to make a triangle out of this gap and these two. So lining, lining up the top so that we get a triangle out of those three. There's the triangle that we were looking for. Then fill in the uh, pentagons and we're done. That is the ultimate ball or ultimate shape.